hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started so here is the background i'm going to use and the dimension is 1080 by 1080 then I'm going to my document to copy this text over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your text to Ctrl plus V to paste. Bring it to the center. Change the font to Avenir. Then reduce the font size. Position it at the center. Then adjust the color. Then duplicate it. Highlight it. Then copy this one here. Ctrl plus V to paste. and open the character spacing centralize it copy this one over here select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the character spacing by zero percent then change the fonts and i'm going to use the fonts bloom and uh, gross rotate it this way then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring this one over here highlight it then you type 3 increase the font size drag it over here okay also rotate this one a little then select this one and rotate it something like this then hold your control or shift key while you select then adjust it Alright, then select your test tool, then copy this one over here, Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font to Avenir, increase the font size, and position it here now reduce the font size use your arrow key then to bring it backward all right Duplicate it, highlight it, and change the font to Sharpion Gothic. Copy this one here, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the font a little. Okay. Then increase the character spacing by 20%. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then you bring it over here, increase the font size, then highlight it, copy this one here, Ctrl plus V to paste, then increase the 
font size centralize it then reduce it a little this way so okay we might also increase it later then copy this one over here and change the font to slope script change the cap to convert it to small letter then i'm going to apply red color increase the font size Then use your arrow key then to drag it and position it it's okay like this then draw a rectangle over here then apply orange color then duplicate this one drag it down highlight it and copy this one over here ctrl plus v to paste reduce the test and position it inside something like this hold your shift key while you reduce this one then duplicate this one ctrl plus j and position it over here highlight it come over to your test and copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then you move this one over here then i'm going to duplicate this one drag it up and bring it down Then you copy this one ctrl plus v to paste then rotate it this way and uh, reduce the size then change the font color to white apply drop shadow following this process the distance i'm going to make it five and the spread six the size seven so use the process or you change it to the way you want it to be So as you can see now, I made an amendment to it, so follow the setting or you make your own choice. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, draw a rectangle, then apply red color. okay then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to avenir then remove the cap and the superscript reduce the font size something like this Then hold your shift key while you select it then you can now position it where you want then come over to your test and copy this one select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to go to uh, champion gothic increase the font size 
So on this one, we are going to use gradient overlay color. So follow the setting here. Alright, I'm going to include the ENS code in the test document I'm going to upload in the description so you can make use of the test code today. Now apply your bevel and embos. They make use of this setting over here or you make your own choice all right so this is what we have over here then you reduce the font size now select your test tool and i'm going to change this one to small cap okay then i'm going to position it over here for now then come over here to copy this one then duplicate this one over here you drag it up and bring it down highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then remove the cab and the superscript then you position it around this position okay then reduce this one and I'm going to position it over here then increase the character spacing And this one I will position it around here. Increase it a little. Okay. Then you bring it down a little. Alright. Now I'm going to copy this layer style on this one then I will position it over here and increase the font size then draw another rectangle then change the color to red then go to your test document and copy this one select your test tool then change the font to Avenir, reduce the size and position it over here. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay, so now we are going to apply our background now. Increase the size a little, then apply your Gaussian blur. So, over here, 
you select the numbers of radius that is going to be best for you so for me i'm going to use this one which is 24 percent then and change your color for blending so you blend the top here and you also import this one drag it up increase the size a little then apply your Gaussian blur reduce the number so here is 15.3 percent then apply your layer mask and blend the bottom here increase it something like this okay So what I did is to group this theme over here so that it will be easy for me to make any adjustment. So I'm going to also increase the size of this one. All right. then import this brush and drag it down okay then reduce the size something like this is okay then change the blended mode so I'm going to use between the two here soft light is okay then apply your layer mask and change your brush to soft brush and use the bracket key to reduce the brush size and blend the top Then import this one, reduce the size and take it over here. Okay. Then you change the bladder mode to this linear bone. Reduce the opacity. So I'm using 7%. And uh, you blend the top here so that the line will not appear so the church logo is going to be at the top over here and drag it up then I'm going to make adjustment to the remaining one to so hold your shift key while you select it then use your arrow key then to drag it up then use your arrow key to bring this one down So what I'm doing is to adjust the background. And increase this one. Okay. Then hold your sheet key while you select it. And I'm going to increase the size of this one. I think it should be okay like this. Increase the size of the image. I 
and increase this one a little. So now it's for our time and date. Then come over here to copy this one. Select your text tool. Then change the font to Avenir. Then and apply this color over here. Then you bring it down. Increase the font size. Reduce it so that it will accommodate the rest. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Alright. Then import time icon. Reduce the size. Then duplicate this one, drag it up and uh, bring it to this position. Then apply red color, highlight it, go to your test and make this copy. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make a change to this line here and this one. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Reduce the font size. Then remove this one. Make a copy of this. I like this one. You paste. Then make a copy of this one. Select this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Reduce the size. Then select the test tool. Apply this color over here and paste it. Reduce the font size. Then I'm going to break it over here. Then break it. Then you position and reduce the size. So I'm grouping it now. The background, the heading, and the rest. So that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.